extension of the ACT process is uh, to close the bio cycle, bio uh, waste cycle. So we can now use uh, waste that uh, until now not you can really good handle, and with the wet process in the HCT process you can make a storageable coal, which is uh, good for transportation and for heating and to um, generate energy. Biomass refers to organic resources that are abundant in both nature and our living environment. Usually, woody biomass or lignocellulosic biomass are dried for thermal conversion into electricity and heat, for example by boilers and gasifiers. On the other hand, Protein and water-rich biomass such as manure, agricultural and food waste are often converted into compost or energy through a biological process such as fermentation. These two groups are separated by characteristics and the technology that processed them, one for dry biomass and another for wet feedstock, making it difficult to truly integrate as a single system. Also. Each technology had its demerits, such as the need for energy and costs to dry and prepare before use, or gases and nutrients that were being wasted. The most efficient and effective system must therefore address the losses that are occurring with existing technologies. The solution is hydrothermal carbonization. Hydrothermal carbonization HTC converts a biomass mix with a water content of up to 70% into biococs without prior drying or draining. This technology effectively utilizes the heat released when carbon is split with water and circulates it within the system, requiring very little additional energy input after the initial heating. After being pre-treated by maceration, the wet biomass mix is introduced into the system via pump. Next, a preheating occurs to raise the temperature to initially about 170 degrees. The hydrolysis causes the split of carbon and water, releasing heat which is effectively circulated. The temperature is kept under 230 degrees Celsius to maintain a maximum pressure of 30 bar to create an environment that allows hydrolysis to occur. Unlike pyrolysis, the low temperature asserts that there is no combustion in any form, which means there is no worry of dioxin. Under these conditions, the feedstock is split into carbon and processed water, allowing the retrieval of nearly 100% of the carbon content and a concentration of nutrients in the processed water. The processed water is also different from that which is produced through pyrolysis and is easily converted into liquid fertilizer or for use in hydroponics to grow feed or energy crops. A single basis module, which fits inside a 40-foot container, can process 10 tons of biomass, water-inclusive, per day. The final product, in the form of briquettes, have 15% water content and have a high calorie content with the right mix of feedstock. The plant in Germany currently uses methane fermentation sludge, but in Japan or elsewhere, it could use a mix of cattle manure, rice husks and other agricultural residue, as well as bark and low-value tree parts. Grenoble currently deploys its own 115 kilowatt gasifier to convert wood chips and HTC biococs into heat and electricity. Grenoble and Ren Energy offers various other gasification solutions from partners and suppliers, providing a range of products with capacities between 115 kilowatt and 1 megawatt. Biococs can be gasified like wood chips in markets such as Japan with high feed-in tariffs for forestry wood. The feedstock mix can be managed to maximize the income or to meet local energy demand using local resources.
The key is to design a flexible system that addresses local issues and needs by identifying the supply of local biomass and use of produced electricity and heat to empower and increase local value and productivity. Where there was once waste or invisible costs that condemned organic resources to be wastes, there now is a possibility for an integrated, localized solution. One of the most important factors for biomass utilization is the effective management and use of heat and process water. Process water can be hard to handle, but Grenell offers solutions such as the vacuum distillation system to refine it into liquid fertilizer or an alternative on-site method. This is the process water hydroponic system in which the diluted process water is fed into a greenhouse to cultivate feed and energy crops that grow quickly and absorbs a lot of water. These crops can be harvested almost weekly and some can be geared towards cycling back into the HTC feedstock to regulate water content. As opposed to biococs that can be used as fuel, biochar is internationally recognized to be carbonized organic material that can be used for soil conditioning and carbon sequestration. The qualities and characteristics differ somewhat from biococs and is conditioned for greater stability in soil. It increases water retention and provides a home for microbes in its power structure, allowing plants to grow stronger roots. Dramatic and long-term improvements of soil has been recorded even for tropical soil in the Amazons and known as terra prata or golden soil. Japanese and international organizations and academic institutions are conducting very in-depth research over the decades, as is the UN in assessing its effectiveness to combat climate change. The Grenell HTC system comes complete with a software package that allows visualization of its performance and controls, both on-site and remotely through smartphones. The basis module and peripheries can be assembled in just a few days and shipped in 40-foot containers. The system is certified by TUF.